Buying a major home appliance is an important decision and a big purchase. It's important to know before you go. Make sure you visit www.bigboxappliancereviews.com. It's Factory and Mattress Kingdom, five-star rated, over 5,000 reviews. Guaranteed we beat Home Depot and Lowe's. The nation's largest discount appliance dealer, over 24 stores in three states. Visit us at appliancefactory.com. Hi everyone, Chef Mark here with Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom. And today I'm coming at you with the difference between an open burner and a closed burner on a range. What the heck is an open burner? Well, I got this Viking here. They're one of the few manufacturers that still makes a good old fashioned open burner. And what makes this an open burner is that you can literally open the burner, right? So here's the burner cap. And then all of this, I mean, I think it all comes apart. Um, not that we want you to take it apart, but here's how you can tell an open burner. It has a tray, this drip tray, if food falls in, it allows you to clean that. Some people line this with foil to kind of keep uh, uh, debris from building up. Um, and what I like about an open burner is that it can breathe from the bottom. So if you have a big pot set on top of your burner here, it allows the, um, the air to kind of draw in from the bottom if it needs to. Um, so open burners are typically what you see in a commercial restaurant. So if you want that the most commercial style uh, range in your home, the 36 inch uh, Viking is a great place to start. Um, they do require a little bit more maintenance as far as cleaning, because uh, you kind of have to take it apart to clean it. Uh, but if you want that, that, that punch of that extra, uh, that extra BTUs, this is the way to go. Now let's compare that to a closed burner. Okay, here I have a closed burner design. And I think most people kind of prefer this. See how the, the bottom here just runs right up to the burner cap, right? And right up, to the, right up to the burner. It doesn't allow any debris to fall through there. So it's, it's easier to clean. Um, you can wipe this off. Some people use a vacuum cleaner. I love that idea. And that, again, allows um, for easier cleanup. They do work very well. I, you know, when push comes to shove, really, this is a little bit more of an elegant design. Um, it's gonna work very, very well. We're an open uh, burn. It's more of that commercial design, typically less expensive as well. There's one other uh, type of a burner that I wanna share with you. And finally, I'm in the Thermidor kitchen to show you a pedestal. So it's an open, uh, it's a closed burner but it's up on a pedestal, which kind of is best of both worlds. It allows it to breathe uh, from underneath a little bit better, but also makes it very, very easy to clean. Um, and then of course, Thermidor has the star burner, which um, I think it's like 30% more surface area for the burner. Really, really great design. So those are the three kind of main styles, two main styles, uh, closed and open burner. And then when it comes to closed burners, there's also the pedestal style. So if you want to learn more, make sure you swing by your local appliance factory in Mattress Kingdom and talk to one of our sales experts. Make sure you like and subscribe. Locally, save at appliancefactory.com. Click the link to learn more.